Welcome to a Fuser basic tutorial series on how to use 5D in Fuser. In this tutorial you'll learn two methods to add costs in Fuser by adding it through resources and content library and also filling in a cost column through a CSV file. Before starting this video we recommend watching our earlier tutorials on how to load your schedule. First to add costs through resources and the content library go to the resource tab under 4D simulation. Next, click the Automatic Resources checkbox. This will generate a list of resources based on your model. Now click on the Quantity icon to change the measurement type from Quantity to Volume. Next, we'll start to enter in the unit prices for each of the categories. Once you're finished with this, we will then check the box next to Automatically Fill in Cost Fields. You will be prompted to verify if you want pre-existing costs to be overwritten. Go ahead and click Yes and costs will automatically be calculated for each task. To add labor costs to our schedule, under the Resource tab, we'll click the New button to create a new category. Next, click on the Material icon to change this resource to a labor resource. Now, enter in the hourly rate for the specified worker. Double-click to change the category name and adjust the total working hours per day. Once you're finished with this, click on the resource icon located on the task in your schedule. Click Add to select the newly made resource. Click Add again to assign that resource to the selected task. Remember to adjust the resource amount used in this task before clicking Close. Please note that if the resource did not automatically renew the cost field, go to the 4D settings to make sure autofill duration has been checked. To find which tasks contain a specific resource, First, open the Resource Task tab. Then select the resource to see which task or task that this has been assigned to. Click Export PDF to create a resource report. Save this document and see each of the resources QTO and cost breakdown. This report is also available in CSV format to allow you to make adjustments to it. To add vehicle costs to the schedule, first navigate to the content library and use the search bar to find the concrete pump. Now you can enter in the hourly rate for the concrete pump. When you return to the 4D simulation, the cost for the vehicle will auto-calculate based on the duration of this task. The same is done with the equipment. Go back to the content library and find the fence. Enter in a unit price and return to the 4D simulation to see the updated costs. To add costs by loading data from a CSV file, first right-click on the Equipment Cost column, then click Map column. Now click Load CSV to select the CSV document and choose which column you want the Equipment column to be replaced with. Click Apply. Repeat these steps to map the costs for the materials. Since the CSV file was already selected, you can select from multiple columns within that file. Our next objective is to view the costs graph. Click on the Graph button in the 4D simulation menu to view this. In order to exclude costs from the cost graph, simply uncheck them in the timeline. Finally, to add the cost graph to a video, first navigate to Fly Through. Click on the drop-down box to select the Construction tab and check the box that says Toggle Graph. Now click on the first frame and drag the timeline to day one. Click on the camera to capture this keyframe. Select another keyframe and drag the timeline to the last day. Click on the camera to capture this last keyframe. Please know that there's more information on how to render a video in our 4D and 5D video tutorials called Rendering 4D to Video. We encourage you to take a look at this video for more in-depth information about fuser rendering capabilities if you haven't done so already.